Hello everyone and welcome to another Heffy Doodle video. I get asked a lot what I do when I feel like I've lost my crafty mojo. Does that ever happen to you? Leave it in the comments below what you do when you lose your crafty mojo. But I typically look online. I look to all of you. I look on social media, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and that usually inspires me to create something. But another great way to get your crafty mojo back are card kits, and a lot of companies have card kits now. But now Heffy Doodle has a card kit, and it's called the Wingman Card Making Kit, and it comes with the Wingman stamp set and coordinating dies and a few other goodies. I don't have the exact kit but let's see what I can one find. Wingman stamp set and one wingman coordinating dies. So the card kit comes with the wingman stamp set and coordinating dies. I have those. One unbelievable stencil. So it comes with one unbelievable stencil also by Heffy Doodle and I do have one of those as well. White, black, aqua, and yellow cardstock. I'm sure I can find similar colors in my stash. I have lots of black cardstock, by the way. Don't judge me. These may not be the exact colors that you get in the kit, but they're very close, and I think we can work with these. Mini Distress Ink Cube in shabby shutters. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I really did think that I had shabby shutters, but I do not. So we're going to have to do something a little different. Okay, we're going to do bundled sage and distress oxide. So I call a mulligan. No. And I'm kind of dumb because it's not a do-over. Finger dauber, two action wobblers, one bottle. Wait, a finger dauber. I got that. I currently store my finger daubers in this ice cube tray and I've labeled them for each of the Distress Oxide colors. Uh, two action wobblers. I had exactly two action wobblers left, so I have to reorder those. Those are fabulous. One bottle of Ranger enamel accents in lemon twist. <sighs> How about a nouveau drop in dandelion yellow? I'm sorry guys, that's the best I could do. Uh, white crochet twine and a sequin pack. So I know I have white twine somewhere, but I don't have any sequins that look like those. So I had to do, again, something a little different. I'm just gonna trade my sequins and my twine for Bow Bunny glitter paste. Cause I make the rules, it's my video. I absolutely love this glitter paste and it can be any color that you choose. Um, so this is what we've got. We have a fabulous um, assortment of things to make a card and I have no idea what I'm going to do. So we're just winging it. Oh yeah, I'm winging it. So I've cut a white Nina uh, card base. This is 110 pound and I'm using the Heffy cuts or the heffy doodle strips of ease dies and I'm gonna cut uh, some yellow strips and the blue the yellow is so saffron by Stampin up and the blue is Simon says stamp sea glass uh, and I'm I think these colors are fabulous together so I'm trying to cut these strips and I what I imagine is like a boardwalk and I know that you can cut strips with a paper trimmer, but the edges of the dies make these almost look like planks. And so that's why I used them. So I'm just cutting So Saffron strips and Simon Says Stamp Sea Glass strips. And I'm intending to adhere them not in any actual pattern, but onto the background of my card base. These little guys are very wobbly in this process, so I did end up using washi tip to hold them down because they were trying to get away. So once I cut out all of the strips that I needed to fill the background of an A2 sized card panel, uh, I coated it with uh, tape runner adhesive. I'm trying to use up this uh, tape runner and in no pattern whatsoever, I just stuck them to the back. And then I trimmed off the sides so that 
it's perfectly a two size card. Now we're going to use the unbelievable stencil. I plan on doing some ink blending, so I'm going to get out my, uh, my craft mat here. This can get completely messy and I don't care if it stains. So I'm going to tape down a piece of the white cardstock and I'm going to use my, my pinch hitter for the ink because I don't have the right colored ink, but I do have this Distress Oxide um, Bundled Sage. So I'm using the ink dauber that comes in the kit to apply the ink on the stencil, like through the stencil on the paper. And I'm really trying to get color variation. I'm filling an A2 four and a quarter by five and a half panel. So it takes a little bit of time to get it done. But once it's done, it looks fabulous. I love the stencils and palms and the leaves and that pattern are is super popular right now. So um, I'm going to wash off my stencil and do some stenciling with the Bow Bunny Sugar Paste. I wanted to make sure that my stencil was clean because this glimmer paste is very fair in color. So it would take all of that green ink, it would make it like green Nouveau paste. And I wanted the Nouveau paste to really sit on top of this color and almost lighten it a touch. So I, I wanted less green ink on my stencil. You could have absolutely applied it with the ink on it if you wanted it to be more green. Um, but I, I didn't really want that. So I love this paste, whatever it applies over top, it just really makes it sparkle and shine and it's quite impressive. At this point, I'm going to set this project aside so that it dries completely. It, it doesn't take very long, but you need to immediately clean up your work surface, wipe down your craft mat and clean off your stencil with soap and water and your tools because once that stuff hardens, it will not come up. Okay, so I don't know if I'm breaking any rules doing this, but I really enjoy doing this technique, so I'm sharing it with you. This is my Cricut Bright Pad. Isn't it fabulous? And I've stamped one of the birds from the Wingman stamp set, and I wanted a second bird mirror stamped next to him as if they were high-fiving. And instead of mirror stamping, I break out my bright pad and I use the packaging from the Wingman stamp set to trace the opposite image of the stamp that I, that I wanted to use. I hope that makes sense to you. It's just like mirror stamping, but without the stamping. And you have to have a steady hand in order to trace your image. But so now it looks like my birds are high fiving. So I'm breaking out some of my Copic markers. Um, if you guys enjoy watching, continue watching. If you don't like watching people color, you can skip nine minutes and 35 seconds. Skip to nine minutes and 35 seconds. Um, I will also have a pin Copic color map uh, on my blog at corinwiskman.com if you're interested in using the exact shades or colors I use to color these images. It's a handy thing to pin and save for later. At least that's how I like to use Pinterest. I have a, co a Copic color combination um, folder on my Pinterest account if you guys are interested and it's full of Copic color combinations. Um, it's a good resource. Anyway, I'm just using my green and blue markers to make these birds as colorful as possible. I love coloring fun, bright, inspiring birds. And so that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I, um, I didn't, I don't do, um, very intense coloring because I'm not an artist. I love to make cards, but I am not a trained artist. I, I am self-taught. So whatever you see is what I've figured out from doing, but boy, is it fun to play with these markers and see what you can do. And sometimes I impress myself with the results. Um, I really enjoy using the Copic markers. I also really love my polychromo colored pencils. Talk about a fantastic colored pencil. Um, okay, so this is the background that I created. I'm coating the back with scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive, which I figured out that you can rip easily. And that's a handy tip. You can rip it instead of having to cut it. Anyway, I'm posting, I'm putting that on a white A2 uh, card base 
And now we're going to stamp a sentiment. I know that I want the black strip to go across my panel. Um, so this is actually Lawn Fawn Jet, uh, Black Licorice cardstock. Uh, you get black cardstock in the kit. So I'm using Versamark ink to stamp two, two sentiments. Um, it says, thanks for always and being my wingman. The sentiments in this set are great and you can mix and match them to create a sentiment that you want. Um, I'm using uh, Hero Arts Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder to emboss my sentiment. After I heat it up with my heat tool, I'm going to take a Swiffer duster cloth and the oil from my hands to make my cardstock a little more black from my EK Success powder tool. Um, I'm going to use the strips of e Ease dies the way they were originally intended to be used and cut out my sentiment to fit in the center of the card. Uh, I want to have this strip go across. I'm testing to see if that's dry and I don't think it was perfectly dry. I probably should have waited before I cut it down. I used my Uranex stamp stitched uh, rectangle die to cut it down and I'm using double sided adhesive to adhere that. So I want to use this uh, hay, heffy doodle hay word die and I'm going to use that yellow cardstock to cut it out multiple times. I believe I cut it out four times and I'm going to adhere the layers together to create like a chipboard like die cut word. Um, I used the negative to keep the die in straight, I guess. Um, this is Ranger Multimedium Matte Adhesive in a little blunt tipped syringe. And I'm going to layer these all together and I use my little pokey tool to be like a, a helpful hand in straightening those letters and making sure that the layers are all lined up together. So once I get all of those layers together and uh, the, the die cut is one piece, I'm going to use my Nouveau. This is like a dry Nouveau brush. Uh, it's uh, supposed to be for ink blending, but I like to uh, sweep my word dies for all those little paper hairs that like come off on word dies and intricate dies. Once I have that all together, I'm going to put my action wobblers on the back of my birds. Uh, I'm going to pop up my sentiments. The strip itself is popped up with a with Scotch 3M foam tape and that the back of the hay does also have a little bit of foam tape to pop it up. Um, the action wobblers, I put two on the image, I know that I could have cut the two birds and then they could have been wobbling and high-fiving and that was an afterthought. So that's a good idea too if you want to recreate that. I still really like the way that it turned out. Um, I still know that we didn't use the yellow Nouveau drops. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it goes. So I'm going to just leave it off. Hope you that's okay. <laughs> Find me, find Heffy Doodle on social media. We would love to catch up with you on those platforms as well. I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching.